For the mobile app, you'll need to download the free Swanview Plus from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Now that you've downloaded the app, go ahead and tap on its icon to open it and then swipe through each screen of the tutorial. Then tap Let's Start. Then tap Menu, then Devices. In the Devices menu, tap the plus symbol in the top right corner to add your DVR. Then tap the QR code button and use your smartphone's camera to scan the QR sticker on the DVR. This automatically populates the UID box. Enter a device name in the alias box, then enter the username and password for your DVR, and then save your settings. Lastly, tap Start Live View, and then you will see your cameras on screen. You can now access your cameras from anywhere. The menu is at top left and gives access to a number of options, such as Live View, Remote Playback, adding or editing a device, or changing your password. In the top right, you'll find the camera list, which allows you to enable and disable available cameras. Double tap on a camera to make it full screen, giving you the option of taking a snapshot on your mobile. Double tap again to return to four camera display. The group indicator shows which group of cameras you're using. Swipe left or right to change the group. The snapshot button takes a snapshot of the currently selected camera and saves it to your mobile. The PTZ control does not function with this model DVR. The extended menu function allows you to access additional options. The stream settings allows you to access video quality menu, change resolution, frame, and bitrate here. Don't forget that using the higher settings will use more bandwidth. Tap Confirm to save your settings. Stop All Playback stops the Live View for all cameras. Tap it again to restart the Live View for all cameras. The Enable Disable Audio button will only function if you have a microphone or speaker connected to the DVR. Alarm Output Control is not relevant to this model of DVR. Close Extended Menu closes the Extended Menu. To use the Remote Playback function, tap the Menu button, then Remote Playback, then Camera List. Select the time and date range that you would like to search. Select the camera you would like to remotely play back, then tap Start Playback. Tap and drag on the timeline to skip to your desired location. Yellow vertical lines indicate the starting point, and blue bars indicate a recording occurrence. You can also take a snapshot by tapping the camera icon, use the pause playback button, or stop playback.